Hello everybody, Matt Goddard here from The Boxing Locker. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about the um, reasonably recently announced Amir King Khan versus Special K Kell Brook uh, fight. Long awaited. Um, it's taken me a while to do this video because to be honest with you, I'm still not 100% fight uh, certain that the fight will ever actually happen. Um, I'm sure at some point there'll be some sort of injury or COVID related scare or something that either delays or, or postpones uh, entirely the fight. Um, but I thought uh, I'd best jump in, jump in quick and, um, and uh, let everybody know my opinions on that fight. Um, just in case it does go ahead, which I will be surprised, but pleased if it does. Okay, so first and foremost, as everybody knows, um, you've turned up to this video for a reason. Um, the fight should have happened a long time ago. Everyone's wanted this fight, particularly in Britain. We've been looking for this fight for absolute years. Um, it's been discussed tons of times in the past. Um, there's a there's a real debate over uh, you know. Uh, was it Khan that didn't want the fight? Was it Brooke that didn't want the fight? Who was avoiding who? And, and, um, and, and to be honest with you, we'll never really find out the facts behind that. I personally like to think that fighters are never scared of fighting each other and that the, um, and that the issues with making these kind of fights are nearly always down to uh, promotional issues, down to uh, the promoters not being able to agree or, or you know, uh, not making business sense. Um, Realistically, this fight's probably lost half of its potential earnings in the time that it's been delayed and uh, in the time we've had to wait for it. I mean, uh, this fight six or seven years ago would have been absolutely enormous um, and, and it's a shame it didn't happen then. But here we are. Um, Brooke coming off the back of getting absolutely hammered by um, Golovkin, by uh, Crawford. Um, and and by Spence uh, with with eye injuries, um, Khan off the back of getting absolutely hammered by Crawford and and you know all of the big uh, knockdowns and knockouts that we've seen in his past. Both world level, elite level fighters, both very talented. Both have had the issues inside and outside of the ring. Um, Brook slightly more consistent with his with his. Uh, coaching team but, but only just I mean uh, Amir Khan's changed trainer so many times um, I'm not really sure what's going on he's obviously training with Bo Mack now Crawford's trainer and he's in amongst that team um, which which could make a big difference um, perhaps even psychologically as well that that's a, a smart move for the psychology of things you know um, Brooke being aware of course that Khan has um, is training now with with a man who beat him um, handily, quite comfortably, um, and and is trained by the coach that, that sort of um, uh, created and manufactured that process. Uh, however, this is the kind of fight that's difficult to call because their their physical attributes to an extent nullify each other. Um, their styles aren't necessarily going to be enormously exciting. Um, Khan rarely in a bad fight. Uh, his hand speed means that he works at high volume. Um, and obviously you're always watching just in case he gets knocked out. Um, but, but Brooke now is obviously a, a lot weaker physically um, due to the, the manner in which he's lost in the past. Um, the other thing is both guys will have that sat in the back of their heads. They'll be desperate not to get knocked out um, and that, that may change the pattern of the fight. You might see both um, behaving quite negatively. I think... Uh, Khan will establish his, his very fast jab early in the fight and you're going to see Brooke take up the counter punching position um, trying to get inside. Um, I believe, I may be wrong, but I believe Khan has uh, uh, the reach advantage um, and, and as such uh, I think Brooke will be trying to evade and counter, come over the top. Uh, precedent has been set with the way to beat Khan, um, looping shots, uh, <clears throat> punching when he punches being prepared to ignore his jab entirely and just work through it or over it. Um, and, and the same can be said for Brooke, uh, high volume, good base um, and, and good, good positional changes um, and he struggles. It's, it's a hard fight to call but I think at this stage in their careers and, and 
probably purely based off the manner in which Brook has, has lost his last three big losses. I, I would say uh, that, that the the momentum is probably with Amir Khan right now. Um, if the fight had happened in the past, I would have said Brook any day of the week. Uh, but I think I think now, I think now maybe it's a bit too late for Brook, and um, I think Khan's probably going to be a bit more effective on the night with um, with high work rate, good volume punching, and plenty of jabbing and moving. Um, I think that the likelihood is that they'll utilize more of the. Um, more of the Amir Khan style that we saw when he was under Freddie Roach, um, the style that boxed Marcos Maidana. Loads of movement, uh, rapid punches in and out, and I think they'll aim to just raid all night and look for a late stoppage. Uh, but whether or not that happens is another thing entirely. Uh, I'm excited for the fight. I hope you guys are excited for the fight too. Um, let me know what you thought of, of my opinion. Let me know your opinion in the comments below. I'm always interested to read them and I'll always aim to get back to everybody. Um, don't forget to give me a follow on Instagram. Check out my website, www.theboxinglocker.com, where you can learn all about uh, boxing from the ground up, absolute basics to elite level skills. Tons and tons of information on there. Um, and you can subscribe at a very, very reasonable monthly cost of $19.99 per month. You can actually save your first month's half price um, with the code five zero and then off in capital letters, 50 off. That will give you your first month's membership half price, so it's worth a try. You can jump on there, and then if you don't like what you find, you can always cancel it. However, you'll love it because it's incredible. So thank you very much for your time. Thanks for watching the video. As I said, like, subscribe, drop a message in the comments. Let me know your thoughts, uh, and I look forward to speaking to you. Well, have a great day.